welcome back to Built by Design. Today we're going to be covering some of the advanced functions and features found within Inventor Fusion. So we're going to start off by creating a new document. Actually going to change our units to inches. Just to start off and create a box. So this one we're going to try to keep um, super applicable to an actual robotics team. So going to make this 24 inches, enter, and create another box over here, 2 inch by 1 inch again, take this act actually to 18, we're not going to join, we're actually going to create a new body, it's very important that we actually do that. So what we're going to be covering first is that is the pattern tool and then we'll go and cover into mirror and some other ones later. The first off with pattern, what you can do is this lets you pattern objects and faces, um, multiple instances in an X, Y direction throughout your part. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to pattern this entire object, this body and then we're gonna select the direction. So when you select the direction, it just has to be parallel to the direction you want to go or perpendicular. So it really doesn't matter. We're just gonna click that one there, drag this out a little bit. So you can see initially it's gonna default with three. It's actually gonna give us three if we move this way too, um, but we don't want that. So we're going to change our quantity this direction to one. There we go, and this one to two. Perfect. And adjust our distances to three and a half inches, looks about right. And there we go. So now um, we're gonna actually mirror this over. And with the mirror work plane, you can actually do this with work planes that you use to the construction planes or you can do this with any face uh, that is inside of the body or part that you're working on. Oh. There we go. So now that we have that, uh, we're actually gonna go and put in some wheels. So make a cylinder. We're gonna sketch off this plane here. That uh, looks about right, right in there. We're gonna make these four inch wheels. And then select that plane to extend to. Make sure you don't do join. You want to create a new body when you're pattering things um, or else it's a, a lot more difficult. You actually have to select each of the individual faces and you can't select the entire body. So it's important that you do that. Go select the body. Select our direction that we want to move, drag it out, change this quantity to one. Okay, there we go, we have half a robot. So now we're actually going to take this and you can actually mirror things that have already been mirrored. And we're going to mirror it, select mirror, select our objects. There you go, select mirror plane. We're going to select that. And okay. So there we have it. We have a nice looking robot frame. So let's say that we want to change the size of the wheel. Well, with, as normally throughout Fusion, if you copy things over, for instance, with sketches, if you go back and edit the sketch, it's actually not going to change the part that you already created. But within the mirror function, uh, there's actually a little bit different. You can go back and edit the mirrors, how, how, which way it's occurring, um, what things are happening, and so on. So, and if you edit a part, so if I edit this wheel here, 
it's going to change the size of all the wheels in accordance to it. So we're going to make them three inch wheels. And as you see, all the rest of the wheels are now are all three inch wheels. So that's a cool thing so that when you're changing size of holes and size of wheels and those kind of things, um, it's cool to mirror it or pattern it so that you're getting things that can have a little bit of associativity is what we call it with them. So this is actually looking a little bit wider than we want it to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you another piece that we can use. Um, and that is we go over here and we select one half of it. What we can do is we can go to modify If it will let me click tweak faces. So when we're doing tweak, we actually want to move, not tweak. There we go. And now we can drag and shrink the size of this frame. There we go. That looks better. So it makes it easy to be able to move things around and such. And it's important that you also, that you do it um, with move because if you do it with modify faces, then you have to modify each individual face and so on and so forth. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna show you some fillets. So let's say these corners are too pointy and you want to round them a little bit. Uh, you can use a fillet tool for that. With, uh, for that. What fillet does is it puts a rounded radius on edges and corners. So you can select multiple edges if you want them all to be the same. So that's actually what we're gonna do here. Go select the first front two. Can go in and change the size. But once again, that this is mirrored, so you only do need to select two of the sides because that will continue, that mirroring associativity will continue throughout uh, the modeling process when you're working on those specific pieces. There we go. And that is advanced features and functions. Thanks for watching.